Hi guys, welcome to church. I am so excited to have you here with me today. We are going to get started and we are going to learn about three favorite letters that we use here at church. Are you ready to hear them? It is L, A, and F. L stands for love. We like to love each other. So we love our friends, so that means no hitting when somebody takes your toy away. And we just want to love them and not be mean. And the next letter is A, so we accept people. So every person is a little bit different and that's fine. We want to accept everybody the way they are. And the next letter is F and that is for forgive. So even if somebody is a little bit mean to you, we still want to forgive others and um, still be friends with them. 
And with that, we are going to go into our lesson very soon. But I'm just going to tell you a little bit about our lesson. Our lesson today is about 10 people that were really sick, but they saw Jesus and Jesus saw them and then Jesus healed them. Are you guys ready to see the story? Let's take a look at the video and see what happens. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, hey, friends. I'm Luis. Look at this. I got a thank you note for my friend's son, Miguel. Thank you for fixing my rocking horse, Mr. Luis. <laughs> and he drew a happy face. Oh, it's always so nice to hear thank you, isn't it? In fact, that makes me think of a story. Do you wanna help me build one? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, guys. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man who was sick. He was sick with something called leprosy. He had spots all over his body. Oh, oh no, don't get too close. Someone else might catch it. Oh, now we have two people who are sick. Oh no. Well, now how many people are sick? Can you guys count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sick people. Okay, we can't get anyone else sick, so you guys just go over there. This is what would happen a long time ago when people had leprosy. They would have to leave town and their families and live by themselves, so they wouldn't get anyone else sick so sad and no one knew what could make them better that is except for Jesus let's call him for help ready Jesus 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 the men said please make us better we are sick and no one but you can help and do you think Jesus helped oh <laughs> yes he did Jesus told them to go find a priest in the village so they took off running to see the priest. And look what happened. Their spots are gone. Jesus made them all better. Hip, hip, hooray! Say it with me again. Ready? Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> they ran to find their families. Well, all but one man. He went back to Jesus and said two of the most important words. He said, thank you. What were the two most important words? Oh, I don't think I heard it. Can you say it a little louder? What were the two most important words? Thank you, that's right. The man said, thank you, and it made Jesus so happy. We can do that too, right? When someone does something nice for us, what should we say? Thank you. When someone gives us a present, what should we say? Thank you. If someone makes us food, what should we say? Mm, thank you. <laughs> yes. Let's all say thank you to God for everything. Ready? Thank you, God, for everything. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. That was such a great video, guys. Did you guys see those 10 men that Jesus healed? Yeah, that is so cool that Jesus healed all of them. But guess what? There was one man that came back to Jesus and said, thank you so much for healing me. And that is what Jesus wanted to explain to us. 
Jesus wants us to always be thankful no matter what we do. So with that being said, I have some pictures that I want to show you. Are you ready? Okay. This is one picture. Can you guys tell me who is on this picture? There's one, two, three, four, five little boys and girls. And these five little boys and girls are all friends because life is better with friends. We can thank God for friends. Say, thank you, God, for friends. Good job, guys. I have another picture. Are you ready? Here is a picture of food. Oh, look at all the food on this picture. There's a carrot, a banana, a tomato, and all kinds of other food things. We can thank God for food. Can you guys say, thank you, God, for food? Good job, guys. Okay, I have another picture. Are you ready for it? Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, there's so many toys on this picture. Oh, there's Barbie. There's a truck. There is some sort of a toy with some buttons and all that kind of stuff. That's so fun. I mean, it is so fun to play with toys. It is so fun. We can thank God for toys. Can you guys say, Thank you, God, for toys. Good job. Okay, guys, I have one more picture to show you. Are you ready? Okay. This is a picture of a cross. Jesus died on a cross like this that was so much bigger and so much taller. But Jesus died for us so that we can be his very best friend. Isn't that so cool? And so we can say, thank you, God, for Jesus because Jesus can be our very best friend, and that is really awesome. Guys, we can be thankful for our mommies, our daddies, and all of our siblings, our friends. We can even be thankful for toys and the food that we eat, and that is so awesome. So you guys remember to always say, thank you, God, for everything that you have given me. All right, let's see which video is coming up next. Oh man, playing hide and seek was so much fun. Hey Ashley, did you have fun? Yeah, except now I'm really hungry. Do you know when lunch is? I'm not sure, but my tummy's grumbling. I would love some pizza right now. Oh, I love pizza. <gasps> or what about a banana? Yeah, that's fine. If you're a monkey, what about a hamburger? Uh, I don't really like hamburgers. What about a kale smoothie? Ew, blended up plants? Here, this is so much better. A triple chocolate cake with whipped cream and sprinkles. Ooh. Yeah, so much better. I could eat just about anything right now. Whoa, you really are hungry. I am too. Let's ask Dad about it. Dad! Dad! Hey kids, what did you need? Hey Dad, we're really hungry. Do you know when lunch is? Actually, I was just coming to get you guys. It's just about ready, so you take off your coats and get ready for lunch. Okay. Can you pass the salt? Here you go. Thank you. Mm. Oh, excuse me. After lunch. Dad, your meatloaf was seriously delicious. I'm gonna go play now. See ya. Wow, that was really good. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, sweetie. Now you go ahead and play, but can you send Carter back down here? Sure thing. Thanks. Hey kids, did you notice something? Carter didn't say thank you after lunch. It's really important that we are thankful for the things that we have. Can you say, I am thankful? That's great. Say it again. I am thankful. All right, one more time, kids. I am thankful. That's great. Oh, here comes Carter. Hey, Dad. Ashley said you wanted to see me. Sure did, son. Do you remember the story in the Bible of the ten men who were sick and Jesus healed them? Yeah, yeah. They were lepers, right? That's right. And do you remember what happened after Jesus healed the men? Um, not really. What happened? Well, only one man came back to thank Jesus for healing him. But you see, when someone does something for us, God wants us to be thankful. And we can do that by saying, thank you. In fact, God gave us all of the good things that we have in life, and we can say thank you to him every day. 
So when you were really hungry and I gave you lunch, what should you have said after? Um, thank you. That's right. It's important that we are thankful for what we have. Okay, I'll remember that for next time. Thanks, Dad, and thank you, God, for this beautiful day. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Would you like to go and play hide-and-seek? Absolutely! Let's go! Okay. And remember, kids, be thankful for what you have. Hey, wait for me! Okay guys, let's jump into our memory verse for today. Are you guys ready for it? Okay, it is. Always be thankful. Ephesians 5.20. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it with actions, and then you guys can repeat it after me. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Always be thankful. Ephesians 5.20. Good job, guys. That was so good. Can we do it another time? Okay, let's do it one more time. Always be thankful. Ephesians 5.20. Awesome job, guys. Do you guys think that you, we can do it all together, all at the same time? Ready? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Always be thankful. Ephesians 5.20. Yay! Good job, guys! Oh, that was so good. I could hear it all the way from over here. Good job, guys. Okay, well, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!